Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Tiny Town Challenge, a challenge put out by Deligracy and I'm also doing it. So her channel will be linked below and this is Cypress Handyman's house. So we've basically got the shell or the outer shell done. I don't know if I really want it to be any bigger than this. So this is about what he's going to get. That's all the room he has. And we did the inside. I made a small little living area or seating area over here. And then they have an eat-in kitchen with the galley style kitchen. And I know it's all open plan, which is kind of strange for a farmhouse, but I honestly just liked it better that way, especially since it's just a small space. And then we have the bathroom in here, of course. We have now a tub and a shower. And then we have the bedroom. So this is two separate rooms, but I have spandrels dividing them right now. Uh, when the child gets to be older, then we will put up a wall. So we have a bassinet here ready for baby. And we have the parents' room over here. So this is the decorations that I have chosen, and I think it's mostly done. I mean, it's fully functional. There will need to be some changes as the children get older. Well, child or children, I don't know yet. I think we're just going to have one pregnancy with Cyprus because I'm not sure there's very much more to do for him other than finish his aspiration and prepare for the next person. So I didn't do anything to the common area. What I might need to do though, is I think the next person is going to be Frank Stem. So if we're going to do Frank Stem next, what I want to do is expand this bathroom a little bit and get either a shower or a bathtub in there. And then in the living area, we will need a flower arranging table and then we will need more space in the plant area for garden plants. So we'll need more space for flowers because he actually has to grow the flowers. So what I might do is make a small greenhouse that is attached here and then push the yard back a little bit and then also make the building a little bit bigger so that we can fit all that stuff in there. So right now I'm just in Manage Worlds because of course it's raining in my game. So I wanted to be able to show the building from the outside without it being raining and having terrible lighting. So this is the first look that I have been able to show, a very good look of the roof, but I think this is going to be the final one all right, I'm just sending them back to bed because I did the renovations while they were sleeping, so they got kicked out of bed. Uh, but looks like everything is broken. That's right. We had gremlins. Whoops. Okay, I'm just going to plant all of the soybeans since they're actually in season. And I really need all of them to be growing and giving me soy wax. Oh, Cypress has decided he likes gardening. Sure, you can like gardening, Cypress. Meanwhile, Letitia has gone into labor. We're going to use the bathroom first because we're actually not going to the hospital. So we have to have the baby at home. And Letitia is having her baby. Now, I think we're going to name the babies after trees or wood. So we'll keep with the Cypress themed names. And it's a boy. We're going to name him Oak. Um, twins, right? Um, I don't have on ley line on, so this is actually a bit worrisome. So we have forest triplets. Yeah. Um, so I have MC command center installed and I keep forgetting every time I copy the settings from another game to check and see how many babies you're allowed to have. Because if you set the babies to a maximum number of six, it makes it much more likely that you're going to get twins or triplets because it lowers the probability that you're going to get a singleton. And yeah, that's probably what happened. 
So we'll call him Aspen. Oh, thankfully only three. I didn't want six kids. Three is going to be a bit of a stretch to fit in this little place, but it's doable. We can have bunk beds or something. All right, we're just trying to sell some of Cypress's candles. We're not going anywhere today because the babies are still newborns. So the parents are going to stay home until they age up into infants. And then we will attempt to take them with us to the store because we make a lot more money at the store than we do by selling the candles and the sculptures on the selling table. Because even at a 300% markup, they're just not as profitable as a bed that sells for a thousand. Vlad, what are you doing here? Cypress is not interested. Go away. I guess because Letitia is awake, he won't break in, hopefully. Oh, it's an earthquake. Up, oh, nope. Strike that. It's a volcanic bomb. And we got three. Hopefully they don't start fires because they can't go into build mode. And they're in unreachable places right now. Okay, we can finally make a different candle, a cylindrical candle. I wonder if this one is worth more. Oh no, I just remembered I have this set to long lifespan. The babies are not supposed to age up until Thursday. That's a long time to stay at home and basically work on fabrication and collecting soy wax. But I guess it's the best season to do it since it is fall and these plants grow in summer and fall. Yeah, the cylindrical candles are only five more simoleons than the dipped candles. Well, it's still going to be a little bit of a profit. Letitia is going to be family oriented. That's perfect. Well, the babies are so needy that it's hard to get anything done. So we've just been trying to sell our candles at the selling table instead of going to the store. It would be much more profitable to sell the woodworking items at the store, but they can't do that while they have newborns at home. And they're not the kind of parents that would go off and leave them with a babysitter. I'm also trying to work on Cypress's social and fun while he's out here because he seems to get very little of that when he's doing fabrication. At least when he's doing handiness, he gets fun. And we can take care of the social by talking to Letitia. But for some reason, he doesn't find fabrication fun. I don't think he can set that as a like. It seems like no one is in a buying mood today. Finally, one thing sold. Oh, it's almost their birthdays. So it's Wednesday. And tomorrow is Harvest Fest, which is also their birthday. It's going to be about noon. So we will definitely be aging them up as soon as possible. I was hoping to be done with Cyprus this week. So what we really need to do is to finish this area. I think we need some seeds and maybe the flower arranging table although technically he could just sell the flowers themselves but he definitely does need some seeds he's not going to be allowed to sell the fruit because the fruit is going to be for the cook oh it's the triplets birthday so that means we can age them up to infant we actually have a lot of plants now because it happens to be Harvest Fest and the gnomes are leaving us all kinds of plants. I'm just going to allow it because Letitia and Cypress are stuck at home because of these babies. But Letitia is going to be able to age them up. Happy birthday, Oak. Oak is going to be intense. Oh, that's just lovely. Happy birthday, Forest. And Forrest is going to be sensitive. Yeah, and Oak is already crying. Happy birthday, Aspen. And Aspen is cautious. All right, time to make over this room. Well, even though all of the infants are aged up, we are not going to the store today because today is Harvest Fest and I really want to get all the plants that they're leaving me because they're a hundred dollars a seed packet. No, I did not tell you to put him to bed. That one is Oak. 
I guess Oak is technically in the way. <laughs> uh, all right. No, you're not going to go sleep next to that dog. Just go to sleep right where you are. I hate how infants do that. They constantly bug the parent to move them to where the dog is. Okay, you can't be a picky eater, Forrest. You have to eat. Well, unfortunately, I don't have enough funds in my store to buy cribs or playmats for them right now. So they're just hanging out on the floor for now. Um, jealous? Cypress was cheated on by someone he cared about? Okay, this is ridiculous. No, you're not jealous. It's because Letitia is flirty and this guy is flirty and he must have flirted with her and then Cypress got upset. Um, yeah, that shouldn't be the case. She's flirty because she's around Cyprus and then she flirts with someone else who just happens to be flirty. This is not enabled. So I don't know why Ian is in a flirty mood, but I do know why Letitia is in a flirty mood. And it's because of Cyprus. I don't know why Sims do this. It's ridiculous. Finally, I got someone to buy something. Hopefully he's buying the bed and not the refrigerator. But really, either way, I think we'll have enough money to get Frank Stim a good start because we have lots of flowers already. And I don't think I'm going to actually buy him the flower arranging table. Maybe I'll make him sell flowers in order to get the flower arranging table. But I kind of need to expand the little community center because there's no way he'll be able to fit that inside. And of course he bought the refrigerator. Okay, we have another person ready to purchase. They must buy a bed. I don't think I have anything else set for sale. I'm going to eventually set these other things for sale. They're kind of like things that Cypress has made that he's going to permanently have in his shop. And maybe I'll keep one of these beds as a permanent restock. But I think I'm done selling things that are not going to be restocked. Because I want them to actually have a full store for everyone else. Okay, we don't have a really a lot of clutter with this house. But what I might do is finish it up after we're completely done. I know it's 2.30 on Saturday and we're pretty much under the wire here. And I did expand the little house over here just by one tile this way and one tile this way and we have in the community center that is we have a shower now the sink is outside of the toilet area so hopefully people won't have to go in when someone is in there and then i did go ahead and buy the flower arranging table because i think what i'm going to do with frank stem is require him to use flowers to make flower arrangements and he can't get money any other way because selling plants straight up is too overpowered. Flower arranging is too overpowered. So what I'm going to do is just set some restrictions for him so that he doesn't get quite so much money. And I think this is a pretty good start for Cyprus since he had woodworking. And this is the community center that he ended up with. And this is the house that he has. And he still has some money. He has 4,600 simoleons in order to finish this house. And basically, I'm just going to add a bunch of clutter and really not change anything else. I might, however, save some money for changing the beds out when his children grow up. So right now, he has three children and we need enough to at least purchase beds for each of the children when they get to be adults. So they don't have to be the best beds. They can just be the pallet beds, the werewolf ones, because to be honest, those are going to be the most simple to arrange in here. So what I might do is actually get the bunk beds, you know, get the two uh, loft ones and one to go underneath one and then get a couple of things for when they're children and teenagers and adults. 
and just put that in Cypress's inventory. And I'll switch them out during episodes when his children age up. Now, the only thing is, I don't think we're going to be able to finish Cypress's aspiration. We need one more date at silver, and I think three more dates at gold, and that's going to be four dates. I don't think we can do four dates in half a day. Okay, I think that's silver. Okay, we need to do 50 romantic gestures and three gold dates. Okay, we're going to call a nanny. Maybe that'll work. Well, this is the end of the week, and Cyprus just needs to spam a few more romantic interactions to get his completion on his aspiration. So, this is Charity. Thanks for watching. Ah!